As legend would have it, a mighty hunter from the Noreal Makwintu tribe was carrying a bundle of animal hides through the steep canyons of Bridge Gulch in Trinity County. Travel from Mount Chastity, come up this ravine here. The hides were heavy and the canyon slick. And this is where his uh, hides got stuck. The bundle fell from the hunter's shoulders and rolled into the creek. The Wintu call this Kokchi Shopchi, or bundle of hides. So he couldn't go any farther, so this was uh, the bundle of hides. This right here, this limestone, this natural bridge. White settlers were the ones that call this place Natural Bridge, a geological formation created by water eroding soft limestone. It's sacred to the Wintu. They traveled extensively through the whole county. You know, this was uh, <clears throat> the center of their world right here. Jim Kerrigan and his ancestors come here often. My grandmother was the last uh, uh, full blood of this tribe. If the walls of Natural Bridge could talk, they would tell a terrible story. They were aware of it. They, would have been, they wouldn't have been here, you know. There wouldn't have been a massacre. They would have been gone, you know. It was April 23, 1852. Trinity County Sheriff William Dixon and a posse of about 69 men set out for retribution. A well-known cattleman had been murdered, and the sheriff suspected Native Americans. Oh, should I say for a scapegoat or find a guilty party? And they had to have somebody accountable, you know. History doesn't tell us if there were witnesses or an investigation into the murder, but newspaper accounts tell us the sheriff's posse surprised the Wintu outside the natural bridge. It was quite horrendous, you know. Oh. And the men and women were killed and shot. It was a massacre. Numbers vary, but anywhere from 150 to 300 Wintu were murdered. They were a part of a defenseless hunting party, mostly women and children. Not a single white man died. Grandmother's great uncle, you know, he was, he was a survivor. Just a few children escaped to tell the story and warn others to run. They weren't even given proper burials. Just for years in the dirt, you know, there'd be rib cages or skulls or the, or, or the bones, you know, still... Uh, sticking out of the ground. Today, the U.S. Forest Service manages the natural bridge and the land around it. A bronze plaque tells the wind two story, and a sacred pine bears a shrine of offerings for those lost. The whole idea of uh, people being respect to, respect to the area and offering something. The sad truth of this now public land is that not all offerings are respectful. I like coming here, but another way it's kind of haunting too, you know. Oh, it's necessary to come here and uh, make the connection. Making a connection. That's what Jim and the Wintu tribe hopes visitors walk away with. The land here deserves respect and the understanding that the unforgivable things that happened here should not be forgotten. I don't know if it so much shapes the tribe. It's just a wound in their, in their, in their history, you know. Respectfully. From Natural Bridges, just outside of Hayfork, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road.